let's talk about the wrists. We have to be careful with our wrists because we put a lot of weight on our hands during our yoga practice and our hands are not used to that, especially if you spend your whole life on your legs and suddenly you're asking your hands to hold on to all the weight. <laughs> it's very important to distribute the weight equally through the hand and this is called hasta banda, the hand lock. You want to press all knuckles and the root of the thumb down and that will bring weight off your wrists. If you have all your weight on your wrists and your knuckles are off the mat, then inevitably you put more pressure on the wrists. So especially if you're new to yoga or if you have any wrist issues, you should press knuckles down the whole time, especially the index knuckle, but also all the knuckles, the pinky knuckle too, and the root of the thumb. Then the palm can do two things. You can either press the palm down, the center of the palm, or pick it up. But keep pressing the knuckles down and keep pressing uh, the wrist down. If you pick up this, the center of the palms, then your wrist constricts. So that's an easier option for any arm balances because you have a, a locked wrist and you're more stable. But with time you want to also press the center of the palm down, which will make you feel a beautiful flow of energy, if that helps. And if you want a simple wrist exercise, first you can warm up your wrists by rotating clockwise and anticlockwise. We're just bringing our weight to the different parts of the hands. We're also waking up the wrists. If you bring the fingers to the face outwards, that will also give you a different feeling. And so we're bringing the fingers to face back. In this stretch, think of the fingers as an extension of the wrists and bring the weight back and let the wrists come off the floor too. With these movements you want to be careful and mindful of where your wrists are and in terms of flexibility. So don't push yourself more than you should. And finally, just like we extend, we can we should also flex the wrists. So bring the tops of the hands down. And again, take it easy and work with what you've got. A simple wrist exercise that will strengthen your wrists is bringing the arms parallel to the ground, opening up the palms, opening up the fingers, and then bringing shoulder blades back and down, they go in and up. Inhale, extend, and then exhale, bring fingertips together. Inhale, open up really wide. Exhale, fingers together. And then keep your breath slow pick out the pace of the fingers. Do this as quickly as you can. Really extend the fingers every time. Don't cheat. And then bring the fingers together for 10, 9, 8, 6, 6, Five, four, repeat up. 
the end. Three, two, the whole movement, and one. Shake it off. At first, this will feel like a lot of work, and then with time, you can pick up the pace and you can also do it for a longer period of time so that you feel it. Arm balances. We've already seen side crow, but today we'll work on an actual crow. With crow, there's the legitimate fear of falling on your face and breaking your nose. There's a legitimate fear, it's a rational fear because it might happen. <laughs> if you're that scared that this fear uh, keeps you from trying, then there's many things you can do. You can place a pillow in front of you so that you just fall on the pillow. Um, you can start slow so you can have the feet on the block and just bring the weight on the hands carefully. And finally, you can just place one foot and then the other, which is what we'll do today. What's important is to keep thinking of the hasta vanta, the hand lock, pressing all knuckles down so that you're not just collapsing on your wrists. And then your anta, panda, shoulder block, bringing the shoulder blades back and down. We're widening the shoulder blades, but we're keeping them down in space. So come to a squat. As a first variation, you can keep the knees outside the triceps. Let's try it. Straighten the arms. This is important. If you bring your hands right in front of you, then you don't have anywhere to go. You want your hands to be straight and then place the hands on the mat far away from you. Externally rotate the arms, bring the elbows in so that you're in chaturanga with the arms and then come forward and press the knees on the triceps. Keep pressing knuckles down, shoulder blades down the back, wide the shoulder blades and then from here raise one foot and maybe the other foot and maybe both. You want to keep bringing crown of the head forward, shoulder blades back. If you were able to do this, then you can move to the next step. Otherwise, keep practicing this. Keep practicing pressing knees against triceps and triceps against the knees, shoulder blades down the back and moving forward in space. That's the most important thing. Balance is at that edge. If you keep yourself back and your weight back, then you'll never balance. So you should bring all the weight above the hands so that there's that balancing position. Now with time, what you want is to bring the knees behind the arms. And again, you can work with this. So you can start with knees behind the elbows and then behind the triceps and then on the armpits. Let's try it this way this time. Again, if you're working with the previous variation, do that again. Otherwise, press hands down, keep the arms far away from you, elbows in, shoulder blades down the back, navel in, and then come forward, press hands down, press all knuckles down, and again, the balance is where you're too far forward. So you keep bringing shoulder blades down the back. You use your chest, elbows in, and then start straightening the arms and start pointing the feet back. Four, three. Four, two. Four, one. If you want to hop back and press hands down, lay chest forward and kick feet back. Inhale, upward. And exhale, downward facing dog. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful.